Hello, my name is Paul and today I'm going to be showing you how to properly give an IM injection or intramuscular injection. First of all, we're just going to gather all the supplies that we need. So we have the needle, we have the drug itself, and then we also have some alcohol swabs. Okay, now the first thing you do is you just gather all your equipment. Second thing you want to do is you want to go to the Pixis room and make sure that you have or make sure that you grab the right uh, drug for the right patient because if you get it if you get the wrong patient give the wrong patient the wrong drug it has a whole other mess of problems so we want to make sure that we give the right drug to the right patient so we're going to check the Pixis room check for the patient check the drug that we're giving at the correct time and then we pull the drug out of the Pixis room and then we take it to the patient's room where we start with how to bring it up. Okay, so you just want to take an alcohol swab and you want to swab, first of all, swab the top of the, uh, of the vial. Make sure that nothing gets in, the, uh, nothing come, no bacteria gets in when you uh, stick the needle in to draw it up. And then uh, get the needle ready, twist it up. Okay. So, when you first draw up, when you, when you first thing you want to do is you want to draw up in air the amount of uh, the amount of uh, drug that you need. So, say you need one milliliter, you would draw the syringe up to one millimeter. You put it in, you stick it in the vial, and you push that air in. Then you want to take the vial, turn it upside down along with the vial and then pull out the same amount of drug. So you want to pull one milliliter of the drug out. Flip it over, take it out. And then you want to knock out any air bubbles in case there are any. And then after this you want to take another alcohol swab and you want to, I'm using an orange today because I don't have anybody to use. And to find the correct spot on a human, say you're giving it in the sh on the uh, deltoid muscle, you want to find the acromion process, which I'm going to say is right here. You take three fingers width down, and then after that you make a V under it like this, and then right here in the middle of the two fingers is where you want to inject your drug. So, let's say the acromion process is here three fingers down and then make a V just like this and then your drug is probably going to go right about here so you want to take another alcohol swab swab off the area start in a circular motion and go outwards and then you just want to take the needle you put it in at a 90 degree angle and then before you inject the drug you want to aspirate and make sure that there's no blood return because you don't want to inject a drug. It, you don't want to inject a drug into um, somebody's blood vessel because that can cause a whole other mess of problems. So if there's blood, you're going to take the needle out and you're going to redo the whole process of drawing the uh, solution up. But say if there is no aspiration or there is no uh, return on aspiration, you just take aspirate a little bit and then you inject the drug just like that and then you take it out and then after this you want to cover the needle back up and then you want to throw it in a sharps bin to make sure that um, nobody else is able to handle it or if it just keep it away from the patient if possible and then um, after that you want to document where you gave it how much you gave who the patient was, what time he gave it, and then the correct dose.